No more dreams. No more nightmares. What a horrible noise you mortals make. Where's it coming from? awful dreams and you look undisturbed don't you hear the terrible whispers it started when a stranger came to town a Tilvani master she offered to purchase the old glass mine I thought it was too good to be true the mine closed years ago but she offered us a chest full of gold and the village elders accepted it everyone in the village was given a job in the mine then others came Masons and additional laborers, we thought. And the dream started. Nightmares. Toiling in the darkness. Working to cut malachite and stone for an arch and a statue. In the dream, they were building an arch in the mine while we dug out the glass and stone. What wasn't used for the arch was sent to restore a statue. At least that's what the overseer said. We woke each morning exhausted, hands bloody. I don't know, but listen, the overseer and his workers, they're Daedra worshippers. They rounded up the villagers and took them away. I, I hid. Check the green glass in. The cultists commandeered it. Now please, I need to get out of here. Nightmares. Sounds like Prince Vermina, all right. We should investigate this green glass in. Great eye. Call on me. Disappointing. Another name that overpromises and underdelivers. Yeah, well, we might as well look around.
Master Shao Reni. Are you familiar with this mortal? The Dream Carvers plan to strike an Apocrypha? Oh, that must- I assume this would turn out to be some pointless mortal delusion. A minor contradiction easily resolved. But Oblivion gateways and Daedric shrines and plans to invade Apocrypha? Ugh. This might take longer than I thought. Clearly, the cult used the mine to construct a portal to Apocrypha for the express purposes of invading my master's realm. They also sent stone to restore Daedric Shrine, most likely one devoted to Periyte or Vermina. But who's Master Shelreni? Doors in Apocrypha lead to secrets and knowledge. Something this Torvasard saw in a dream? Is that why Vermina is involved? I suppose we should investigate the mine next. Just make sure I don't get mutilated. Reconstitution is so unpleasant. Most of the time, the research I undertake is wasted. But my study of the area indicated that the mine runs underneath the village. The entrance lies to the east. Hmm. Why do you bear the mark of my master, mortal? You don't seem to be a devotee. Of course he did. Mortals always get the special titles. But who winds up doing all the work? Usually that's me. Well, as long as we're both here... We might as well work together. What's the worst that could happen? Never mind. I already know. Hmm. Never heard of him. The letter we found claims he's an unaligned Dramora, working with Vermina and Periyte. And with Master Shelreni, too. It's highly unusual for a Dramora not to be dedicated to a clan or a prince. Not mention of a dream. Another contradiction in a flood of discrepancies. Daedra don't normally dream, not like mortals at any rate. Not even the Dremora who consider themselves above the rest of us. I may need to look into this Torvasard when I return to Apocrypha.